he shined on Broadway stage and in the movies, most recently received the title, as we've been talking about, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. New movie, Australia, opens in theaters today, and here he is, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Yes. Love raisins in my stuffing. Do you? Oh. I wanted to be said in Australia, That's you would so not be abnormal. Nice. You wouldn't feel Absolutely weird. Come down. Right. With All those sexy guys Maybe love our are. raisins. <laughs> right. I Maybe like you're it. You're Australian, yeah. and we never and know. And I never do it. No. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. You. I like it in my baked apples. I like it in bread pudding. Sure. I like it in my oatmeal bread raisins. Pudding. Are good. It's got mm. to be in the bread pudding. It's got to be Absolutely. right. It can't. Mm -hmm. What's John Cho? What does he know? How do you feel about all this hysteria, huh? Um, Isn't that nice? You're the sexiest guy in the world. Alive! And Alive! You're, Alive. you're Alive. nice to me now. You were not nice to me backstage. <laughs> you're upset. I was setting you up for no. this. Look. Not only is he sexy, he's a sweetheart. And you were so lovely to my daughter backstage. I have to uh, tell you. Thank you very much. Well, I I'm not sure missing. if you're going to say that when you get home. <laughs> I was telling her the ten ways she should convince you to get a cell phone. It's How to do it. It's never happening. It's never happening. It's never happening. Sorry, I will put your Wolverine powers <laughs> against my talk show host skills. She's writing down ten <laughs> reasons. Exactly. And I said, the best thing is that when you're bored at school, you say, Mom, I can watch you on TV when I'm at school on my cell phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's you're not going to like me when we get home. She's seven now? She's seven. Yes. She's seven. I don't yeah. even have a cell phone. Exactly. That's what I said. I said, when Regis gets one, uh, then I will give you one. I've got to tell you, going back to your earlier question, because <clears throat> I like to bring it back to this one. Well, yes. sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's, talk Let's about go back to sexy now. I'll give you a half hour to stop talking about it. No. Um, basically, the best thing that happened was I arrived in the States when it was announced. Because to be in Australia when something like that is announced is kind of like the worst thing that could ever happen to you. In fact, since, since it was announced, I've had a, at least 50 emails, 10 of which are basically ransom letters with photos attached to me in the most unsexy way. The most <laughs> unflattering, uncompromising positions. 100 bucks, I'm sending this to People magazine kind of thing. Yeah. That's so great. Yeah, it's going to be a lifetime of hell whenever I go back home. I would think, like, your friends in Australia. I mean, because oh, yeah. Australia, men, 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 are, men. men are... That's men what they like. Right. If they like you, they right, give you a hard course, time. Right, the right, worst right. thing that can happen is you go to Australia and go, ah, oh, you're a nice bloke. <laughs> right. Oh, that's not a good sign. No, 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 right. So you. is there anything embarrassing about this, other than well, your friends in Australia? I'm very casual. So you do the interview, and I, I have to say, the interview with these two women, was, it was delightful, and I was... You it was two about, women It was like four oh, hours. It's like doing James Lipton in the actor's studio. It's about four hours long. Four hour what interview? shampoo do you use? Everything. Right. First kiss, first girlfriend. And I very casually told him about my first girlfriend, you know, when I was five. Very right. sweet story. And my mm -hmm. first kiss when I was nine. Nine? Nine. I was about 34. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, mate, she's come to Australia. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> what else did they want to know? So anyway, the problem with that is I casually mentioned it, and now I've had emails mm. that, you know, that, that the news, the 6 o'clock news, have been doorstopping these poor girls. Sarah oh. Dowson and Martine Craswell. Oh, my God. Knocking yeah. on their door. Now I believe you're the first kiss. And they're like, huh? <laughs> they're like now married with three kids. Right. And the husband's like, what? What's this? What are you you make it out with Hugh Jackman? You never told me about Hugh Jackman. <laughs> so anyway, I learned my lesson there. But it's uh, quite an honor, yeah. How did your wife feel about this? What teeth? did she say about Dead, it? Uh, the first thing she said very sweetly was, um, she said, well, I could have told him that years ago. Aww, uh, that and nice. she did genuinely then say, so I don't understand. How does it work? You know? And I said, well, I just got the phone call this morning. And um, I presume it's just the editors. So she, so she said, you don't nominate. Anyone can get it. And I said, yeah. And she said, and Brad didn't get it? <laughs> <laughs> I think he got it one uh, year, didn't he? I'm sure he did. Sure. He got it twice. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. I can see you doing it. You could be a repeat uh, cover boy, don't you I'm think? not a one-term guy. I'm moving yeah. forward. That's I, right. I, yeah. 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 Well, you got a big movie out. Opening yes. uh, today, as a matter of it fact. It opens yep. today. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. very excited. It's yeah. big in every yeah. sense, this movie. Yeah. And it what is. is it like for you, Jackman, to return home, you know, to make yeah. this mm. movie yeah. all about his homeland? It, it, I mean, it's like all the planets lining together miraculously. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have been better. It's, it's all the great actors I've ever grown up mm -hmm. with idolizing. Baz Luhrmann, who did Moulin Rouge and Romeo and Juliet, and uh, <laughs> shooting in these incredible locations in the outback in a movie called Australia, right? Yeah. I got to use my own accent for the first time <laughs> right. in about eight years. Yeah. <laughs> and in every way, it was, it's the kind of movie that I make. 
anymore. You were there. Oh, the absolutely. Night, I said it's sort of one of those great old westerns right. that they used to make here yeah. in America. Yeah. You, know. you know, it's comedy and then there's drama, there's romance, there's action. So I kind of got to do in one movie what I'd be lucky to do in like five years. Oh, absolutely. So great. But yeah. Yeah, growing up in Sydney, was it? Sydney. Uh, did you ever spend any time in the outback? Because that's yeah. like a different country back out there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you see, a lot of Americans don't understand that Australia is the size, the land is the size of America, right. but we uh -huh. have the population of California, right? right. There's 20 exactly. million people, and most of them live on the coast. Mm -hmm. So the middle of Australia is this vast sort of frontier. There, there is literally no yeah. one in. The property we shot on is the size of Belgium. And so I actually went out there when I was about 19 and uh, for about three or four months. It, it, it was very transformative at the time. I almost didn't come back. It's kind of a hypnotic kind of place. You're mm -hmm. gradually you're there and nothing seems to matter anymore. You know. And I think Baz yeah. captured that in those, yeah. uh, those scenes. He did. And, you know, like, I'm, I'm really proud of the movie and I'm really excited about it. Beyond about Australia, this is just a movie in that old school Hollywood way. It's got yeah, everything everyone right. can come to and ultimately mm. you feel great at the end of it. You know, yeah, it's sure. uplifting. So. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll show you a clip in just a moment. <laughs> Porch. That was a great. <laughs> that now, Nicole a Kidman is a close friend of your wife's, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it could be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like having those love scenes with Nicole? I'm not going to say it was the hardest day at the office, <laughs> and I know Deb's not watching right now. But well, first of all, it's really nice to kiss a girl on screen where I don't have to have my boots off in a ditch with a girl on a box oh, because right, that's normally right. what every the time she comes on the show, she's six inches taller. <laughs> God, she was here yesterday. She Look, it was, it, it was fine. The best thing that happened when I saw the movie, I saw it for the first time with my wife, and she leaned over that first kiss, and the very mm. first kiss in the movie is slow, like we're coming together very slowly, and when you're sitting next to your wife, it's even slower. Like <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, and they finally kiss and kiss, and then she turns to me and she goes, that was great. And oh, I was like, wow. she said that to you. She's an actor. You know, so yeah, she was like, she it's good. It. About she 10 minutes said. later, there's a montage of us kissing on the porch, on the bed, on the horses, yeah. on the hill. And she goes, all right, enough already. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought she might say, or oh, did she even think you'd ever kissed me like that? With such intensity, with such passion. How did you know? Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually Just a wild guess. That was Regis' internal monologue coming <laughs> out of you right now. It sounded like Massimo. Massimo! Oh. Oh. Incidentally, you're neighbors with Jai George. We're neighbors. In and New and York I have to house. say, it, it was such a thrill to see him because we just moved into our new apartment two nights ago. Sure. Wow. And we, we were at night, literally, you know what it's like. You move in, you've got boxes, nothing, and up came a meal from Jean Georges oh. on our first oh, night. That's so nice! So nice. Yeah. And about a half hour later, the bill came. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you had a ball in this movie, you know. It was suited to you. You ride a horse beautifully. You. You've done all those things. You're really a heroic type of guy. And uh, it was a lot of fun to watch you in action there. Thank you. Man. And Nicole, uh, she was just beautiful. She's fantastic. She's, she's radiant. So, she's, she is, and she's so funny in this movie. Mm. She's she is very, very funny. Very yeah. funny and very moving. And. Uh, and the young boy, Brandon Walters, who's just Where does astonished. that kid come from? Literally from the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. He'd never acted in his life before. He was from the top end of Australia. Mm. And he'd never heard of Nicole Kidman. He'd never been to a big town. And for, he's from a traditional Aboriginal family. Sure. And for, for, for his family to be convinced when he was chosen, Baz Luhrmann, the director, had to go and, go and walk about. Wow. And hunt kangaroo and live on yeah. traditional lands, live in a traditional way. It was kind of to get with it, right? Yeah, to, to get, get the right there. sense. It he's always a, amazes me when directors are able to have that eye and find that one mm. person that sort of captures yeah. your heart. And oh, this kid is something. Movie. He is something. He else, really is. All right. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at a clip now. In this, in this particular scene, Nicole is confronting you about. Uh, well, she doesn't want to uh, like. The, she doesn't like the sleeping arrangements out it's there. Her first in the night in the outback, a girl from England. <laughs> of course, in British aristocracy, <laughs> how dare you? Take a look at this from Australia. Hey, 